For centuries, many Hindus worshipped Shiva, chanted the Gita, and possibly poured on this very lingam in the old Chinese port city Quanzhou. But also for centuries afterwards, these Hindu relics confused, bewildered, and intrigued the locals, and finally found their ways into Quanzhou's religious scope, adding a beautiful stroke. To the kaleidoscopic cultural scene of this ancient city, join me and take a peek into the fascinating past through Quanzhou's Hindu relics. Our journey begins at the Kaiyuan Temple, a temple built in the seventh century. It is the biggest and probably the most famous Buddhist temple in the entire province of Fujian, and the pair of stone pagodas rebuilt during the Song Dynasty. Almost became a cultural symbol of the city. Under one of the pagodas, you would see numerous tourists looking upwards and trying to find this monkey figure, because it highly resembles the famous Monkey King from the Chinese legend Journey to the West. In recent years, this famous monkey has found its way to Hollywood and appeared in a series of movies. But to Hindus, this monkey might remind them of Hanuman. Now, the monk Wu Kong, who inspired the legendary figure of the Monkey King, had traveled to Gandhara to study Buddhism in the late 700s, and he probably came in contact with Brahmanic canons. But there is no clear evidence whether the Monkey King or the monkey figure on the pagoda has any direct relationship with Hanuman. There are other clear evidences in the temple, however. That prove the presence of Hindus in the city of Quanzhou a few hundred years ago, like these carvings that depict the stories in Mahabharat, the carving of Shiva, or the carving of Narasimha, or this cute Krishna, and numerous other ones. These carvings used to be parts of a Hindu temple constructed by the Cholas from Tamil Nadu. Some of its bricks and carvings were later used in the reconstruction of the Kaiyuan Temple during the Ming Dynasty. And thanks to that, part of this foreign Buddha temple has survived the turmoil of history until this day. What is up, guys? So now we're in Quanzhou. We're at the Shizun、uh, Gongyuan, the rock bamboo shoot park, as the local call it. The rock bamboo is actually a lingam left by you know Hindus who used to live here, and.、Uh, I was also surprised when I arrived in Quanzhou that there was, like Hinduism was a quite common religion practiced by, by、uh, business people from like the Cholas or、uh, people from Sri Lanka. And today we're looking for the the bamboo shoot, the lingam.、Um, and looking at the picture, it seems like it's pretty large. And one interesting fact is that、uh, locals who Uh, have no idea what that is,、um, and because of the looks of it, it looks like a. I, will, I won't describe in detail, but the locals, when they want a male offspring, they would come here and slightly touch, or gently touch the lingam, <laughs> and pray for a male child. And here,、uh, they actually built a temple,、uh, a rock for the rock bamboo shoot, a general rock bamboo shoot. Here in Quanzhou, they they worship everything, they pray. Uh, to a lot of deities, it's kind of like Hinduism. Where there are millions of different deities. For generations, people didn't figure out what the stone bamboo shoot is. Even in this still erected in the 1950s, Chinese historians thought it was built by ancient Aboriginals. But more and more experts believe now that this is a lingam constructed by the Shaivite Hindus from Tamil Nadu. Interestingly, the locals quickly understood the religious language behind the lingam, despite of their ignorance of its background. And since a thousand years ago, countless people have come here and prayed to it for a male child or for their offsprings to continue flourishing. There are also quite a few mysteries waiting to be resolved, but this history of brief exchanges and synthesis. Despite of how beautiful and intriguing it is, will be put aside, manipulated, and if necessary, erased. 
until geopolitical and economic interests again put the two ancient civilizations on the same side of history.